Okay, I'm so my I, my apologies. All right, so let's begin, uh, Mr. Lubovsky. My name is uh, David Lubovsky. Thank you, Speaker Delay and Senators, for allowing me to submit testimony regarding Bill 31736. I am, of course, in support of this bill and its intended amendments for the further protection of medical consumers on Guam. We live on a closed medical island, meaning all medical decisions apparently are decided by a select group of doctors and their supporters and channeled through the Guam Board of Medical Examiners who does not have a public, does not have public confidence. Off-island specialist doctors who want to set up shop on Guam are deterred from doing so due to local doctors on Guam who do not have specialist skills but still do these specialist procedures as they are protected by local law. This would be called malpractice anywhere else as stated by Attorney Kao during the Bill 11236 hearings. Specialist doctors, real specialists from off island must compete with non-specialist doctors who reside on Guam to set up shop, making it near impossible to recruit these doctors, making it near impossible to improve medical care on Guam. Without getting into this further, and the discussion and related reasons for poor medical care on Guam to this issue, and a lack of medical accountability on Guam, it's fair to say that medical consumers, our families, our loved ones, our kids, our children, have to be proactive to know who to see or not to see in terms of doctors, including their skills, histories, allegations of malpractice, sexual misconduct, medical negligence, etc. Bill 31736 refines the current legal requirements of the webpage. And by the way, the current webpage doesn't list doctors who settle wrongful death, uh, who have wrongful death settlements. They're not listed on the webpage. It's not required by law. The current webpage is required by law, and the medical exam is to more adequately meet the needs of consumers. Consumers are stuck having to rely on their own research as to whom to see medically, especially since the lack of accountability and transparency has kept negligence doctors cloaked from the public. The Guam Board of Medical Examiners has a document history, I'm not making this up, it's in the newspaper, has a document history of licensing doctors with medical negligence or sexual misconduct histories. Then bringing these doctors to Guam where the sins of their known past actions are repeated on unsuspecting Guam residents resulting in negative lifelong impact or worse damage. Bill 317 will offer any consumer on Guam the opportunity to have a much clearer look at the profiles of medical professionals who treat them or their loved ones. With Bill 317, there will be less hiding of medical negligence to protect doctors and more protection afforded to the people of Guam. Just a reminder, it has been around 10 years since the board was required to provide uh, profiles of doctors. They didn't start to do it until recently due to a public outcry and, and, and some um, oversight meetings. It has also been more than five years since the board was required to provide a profile website, but again, it was not done until recent um, uh, outcry, public outcry. Let me remind you, for those, of you not, uh, for those that do not know, that the chair of the Guam Board of Medical Examiners, Nathaniel Berg, publicly, very recently, has said that he did not want to set up such a website even though he knows it is the law. He found fault with the speaker and the legislature inappropriately for forcing him and the board, in essence, to help consumers by providing doctor profiles on such a website. I interpret this again as he and the board want to protect their colleagues more so than the medical consumers on Guam. 
which conflicts with the board's own mission. Also, let me uh, inform you or remind you, under uh, the current uh, medical board, under Nathaniel Berg's leadership, there has never, ever been a case decided for a, a, a victim claimant. Never, not one. And we're talking about maybe around 45 cases now. Statistically, nationally, it's impossible. It shows protection of doctors rather than um, protection of com uh, consumers. In my opinion, the most important part of Bill 13 is regarding current accusations. The way it is now, doctors who are accused of doing serious harm to patients, sexual, sexual misconduct, killing somebody, are allowed to practice for years, often with no accountability, no mitigation, but also without other patients knowing what they did. It's a hidden secret. No, you cannot know that. Virtually, a do this is going to sound weird, but it's true. Virtually, a doctor can kill three people in a week through medical negligence, and no one will know it as things are set up now. Sad. Doesn't the father of a teenage girl have the right to know if his child's doctor has been accused of sexual misconduct? My gosh, think about it. If that was your daughter who was the victim, you would freak out, especially when you learn that the board has knowingly prevented the information from public access. Doesn't the mother of a young child have the right to know that her pediatrician was accused of killing a child through medical negligence? Enough with hiding these crimes from the people of Guam, who again have no resolution for medical negligence. The current message is clear from the, from the board and from the medical community. The current message is this. Hey, sorry, your daughter was killed by a pediatrician who we knew did similar negligence in the past. But we licensed them anyways and didn't want to tell anybody, but just suck it up as we have arbitration to protect us, and we don't have to put it on our website. And if you complain, you'll lose, our, you'll lose medical services, which has happened. I'm not going to talk about my son. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about tomorrow, the next individual, because it happens daily. We see it all the time in the newspaper uh, about medical negligence, somebody else suffering from it, and people just wash their hands and walk away. But I will say, it's been four years since my son has passed away. The complaint in front of the Guam Board of Medical Examiners has been sitting there for two years. They have done pretty much nothing, and they have reports from off island for the last six months, nothing's happening. There's no reason for that, while the doctors continue to practice in the community. So accusations are very important when doctors continue to practice. Let's get it finalized, and please, um, I, uh, please pass Bill 317. It's all about, in my opinion, greed versus consumer protection. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lebowski. Dr. Annette David. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Good afternoon. Buenas and half a day to our senators. Uh, I've actually just arrived back on island, so I haven't had the chance to prepare written testimony. 